Welcome to the Relationship Theory people. My name is Zay. We are now here at the RT blog number 18, The Power Within. This episode is going to be on power, values, needs, desires, and how they all tie together when it comes to living your life. Power, and I'm gonna start off with this quote, and I think we're all familiar with it, response to a need, not a desire. You have to create that need. Power comes in response to a need, not a desire. You have to create that need. You see, power is not a thing that you have because you want it. Power is a thing that you have because you need it. And the reason for this is power arises from your values. The things that you hold dear to your heart, the things that are tested, the things that push you to the very end of your being to help you become someone new, that's where your power really is. If you want your power, if you just desire it, if you just see it and you want to imitate it and want to be like it, if you have the image of someone else and that's power to you, you're going to see that you're going to run out of power very quickly because the kind of power that you seek doesn't belong to you. The power that you see that someone else has is because of the values they have those values aren't yours so the power isn't going to last the power is within it's not without it shows without but it is within one of the most important things about the power that's within the power that comes with your values is after you've gained that power after you gain that power you're going to be tested not because power simply tests you but because if you gained your power, if you gained your, your security, your self-esteem, your strength, your insight, your interest, your increase by your values, what your power is going to test is, are you going to abide by your values to continue having more power? Because a lot of people lose their power not because they give it away, not because someone was stronger than them, but because their values were stronger than them. Which is a very strange thing if you think about it, but let's keep going. Your values can be stronger than you if you don't live by them. Which means anytime you live beyond your values, you're neglecting your power, you're leaving it behind, right? You're going to live a different storyline other than where your power suggests your direction is. And that's where we need to be careful. Stick with your values. Your values are where your power lies and your test is in your values. Now, for some people, it makes sense that they lose their power because they might have been brought to a point in their life where they absolutely needed that power. But then once they have it, they become too ready to use that power to get more power. But if your values are not in getting power to get other power, you're already gonna lose and there's very few people that have that that way. Most of the time, everyone's values are already inset. Everyone's values are already within themselves and they're already living by them and just don't know it. Most people don't even know what their values actually are. In that case, some people are going to grow, some people are going to have increase, some people are going to have power and not have a clue as to how that is. Not, now, not knowing your values doesn't hurt in the short run, but in the long run it does. Because most of the time what you're going to be doing is frustrating your life by not living by your values. And you know your values by the way that you decide to live your life. You know your values by the way you decide to get up each morning. You know your values by the way that you decide to take care of yourself. You know your values by the way you decide to work. You know your values by the way you interact with other people, with animals, with your interests, with your likes. These are how you find your values. You know your values by the things that you trend. And that's where you gain your power. Everyone, thank you for coming to this. Thank you for tuning in. 
love you all so much appreciate you at number 18 i'm excited about this we're gonna keep going guys have a wonderful day